Yo, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Yo, yo, you guys have any shit for this summer? Huh? Excuse me. Do you guys have any shit for this summer? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where are you guys working? Uh, I'll be at Capital One this summer. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll be at um, IBM and SF. Really? Yeah. Damn, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. this is super random and super strange, but I go around the country as interviewing the top students for their top internships, and since you guys are working at the top firms, let us see if you guys are down to like a small interview with me. If you guys are walking to class, and walk with you guys there. You guys are down. Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Let's do it. Yeah. So what are you guys going to be doing actually at your internships? So I'll be working as a software engineering intern at Capital One. I'll be working uh, as like an AI and cloud computing intern. And so you guys are both CS majors. You obviously know the market is really cooked. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think CS majors though, that are trying to land an internship, aren't doing enough of? Definitely not enough networking. I feel like your network is your net worth, even though that might sound cliche. I think your network can take you a long way. So just having those coffee chats and being persistent with meeting other people, either alumni from your school. I think that people are just like a little scared to get out there. My logic has always been, you got nothing to lose. If there's a job out there, apply and just take it as it comes. And if there's one thing that CS majors love to talk about, it's leak code. What is your biggest tip to leak code effectively? I would, what something that really works for me is time boxing it, right? I'll give myself an hour and a half, do as many leak code problems as possible, don't look at the solutions, and then afterwards look at the solutions. I saw some tips online saying, oh, look at the solutions and then try to reverse engineer. But I feel that that's not the best way to learn. So I just effectively spend an hour, do leak code, and then learn from it. Similar to Shreyas, I attempt a problem for about 50 minutes. And if I still can't solve it, I, of course, look at the solution, but I try understanding the pattern of what the question was testing you. Because more likely than not, most lead code questions that companies ask you can be broken down into five to 10 actual patterns. And if you can hammer down on those patterns, you should be able to adapt them to any lead code question. But what do you think are the biggest mistakes you see with CS majors though? when actually lead coding itself. What people do is that they often just start straight go to lead code, like lead code hards and skip past the easy and the mediums. But a lot of times they're missing out on a lot of fundamental questions, right? If you can't get your fundamental data structures and algorithms down, there's no point of going on and doing a lot of the lead code hards. And because a lot of times companies are testing you, do you know your basics? Do you know your fundamentals? Can you apply those fundamentals to solve bigger problems? Having some sort of structure is definitely helpful. I started off doing something like the Need Code 150. So just have Having a sort of reason for you to solve certain problems is probably my biggest tip and the mistake a lot of people make is that they just blindly go into lead code without knowing what type of problems they should be looking at or um, what type of problems they should be focusing on. And if there's one R word that everyone on social media loves to talk about, it's referrals. What is your key to get a good referral? You don't want to go into meeting someone with the sole purpose of that meeting being a referral. So the, the way I go about doing this is cold emailing or cold uh, messaging people on LinkedIn, set up a meeting so that I can understand what these people are actually doing in their day-to-day -day jobs and these are mostly software engineers at companies where I might want to work at.